Maybe you should do your intro. Not yet. I want to do the intro when the game starts. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, Hideo Kojima is making sure that we don't um, sue him for what we're about to see. Pretty br <laughs> <laughs> Why is it like advertising to you in the game? This is a work of fiction, Cat. So we cannot sue. It's good. Like, does it? Uh, portray the military in a certain way that the American military slash government would, would find uh, unfavorable? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hi. I'm a lesbian. My name is Raven and today we're going to be playing Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and I have my cat, my <laughs> my friend Cat here with me. Say hi Cat. Hey, I'm Cat. <laughs> I'm, oh, we're in outer <laughs> heaven and I'm also gay. So yeah, they're going to watch me play Metal Gear Solid 5. We're going to try and get through the 300 hour uh, beginning of it and play with dogs and uh, tie people to balloons. Why does that look really fucking big? Because it is big. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> big Boss is a giant. <laughs> so have you ever played a Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid game no, before? I, don't, I The... As far as my knowledge goes about Metal Gear is... Um, 2008 era comedy videos. The the Metal Gear awesome type. Yeah, I yes. Didn't want to... <laughs> yes, that man. <laughs> Did you give you a game? <laughs> and our big boy Kiefer Sutherland. So, Metal Gear is a game series. The first Metal Gear you're, is like you're sent by fucking this, your boss, big boss to go to this place called Outer Heaven to like retrieve some guy and then it turns out Big Boss is the Big Boss of Outer Heaven, and then you fight Big Boss, but it turns out that you weren't actually fighting Big Boss, it was a body double of Big Boss, so then you fight him later. I don't think it's in the same game or the next game, but then you do fight him later. And then the next one, I think you, um, you're the main protagonist, um, Solid Snake, he has, he has a brother, a twin brother. Oh god. And I think... I think he was Liquid Snake or some <laughs> shit. Um, oh, come to and I think you fight him or some. <laughs> I need to. Add... Which leads me, yeah, to a very important question: uh -huh. Is there a gaseous snake? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a plasma snake? What other? I don't think uh, so. They're plasma gelatinous. <laughs> Non-Newtonian snake. <laughs> I think in like the next game or something, you have another brother, and he's the president. <laughs> and uh, fuck, I don't. Oh my even... god, the eyelids. Yeah, and then and then there's the next game which took place before the first one, and it was Metal Gear Solid Three, and that's the one where Ocelot happens and he spins the guns around, and there's bees, and um, <laughs> you roll around in the mud in the Cold War. Basically. Big Boss, who is in this coma right now, uh, Kazuhiro Miller, who I don't remember who he was, uh, and Ocelot, Revolver Ocelot, are... They build this place called Mother Base, or Outer Heaven or something, and and then it get blows, blows it up, and then you're in a coma, and this is happening, and V, v has come too. <laughs> and that's what happened. V has come too. So I was in a coma. <laughs> I got. I was just was in a fucking coma. <laughs> I'm very sleepy. <laughs> he looks like Steve Jobs. <laughs> he does look like Steve Jobs. <laughs> I didn't know Steve Jobs was involved in the Cold War. He probably was. That's his dad. If you can hear me. Is, now, is this solid Steve Jobs, or is this liquid Steve Jobs? This this is solid Steve Jobs. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this is solid snake. No, I'm... No, I'm... No, oh, okay, I'm okay. talking about Steve Jobs. He looks pretty no, solid. No, yeah, that, that's that's liquid Steve Jobs. Fuck. Oh, god damn it. They did act... Wait. Yeah, they inverted. What the fuck? Anyway. Um... I don't know. 
Here's what I'll do. Shoot. <laughs> lesbians. When were lesbians born, do you think? When did lesbians happen? When did that song by Haley Kiyoko come out? <laughs> Was it early 2000s? Oh, wait, I know. We'll do the date when we all got to be able to be married. Very good. Oh, that's a good date. That's when lesbians was born. <laughs> First thing out of this guy's mouth is lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> June 26th. <26. laughs> Please listen. I'm afraid it's been nine years. Oh my god. He's freaking out too. What if you were in a coma for nine years? Would it really be that bad? <laughs> Because, I mean, you're just hanging out in the bed for a long time. You don't have to do shit. And now you're like... It, now you can basically, like, do anything, and then your excuse is, I was in a coma, I don't know. <laughs> Things were a lot different back then. <laughs> it's beautiful linen. What is that thread count? <laughs> 6,000. They actually rendered someone sleeping under a bed in a video game. Under the covers. In a video game. This, this is the pinnacle of technology, technological prowess. In an explosion. So yeah, Big Boss was exploded. And he's got lots of stuff in his tum tum. Foreign bodies embedded within. He's got other people inside? <laughs> he's got tiny little elves in him. He, his chest cavity opens up like and there's like a little tiny big, there's like a little boss it's like, <laughs> it's like that ending of metal oh no metal gear solid 2 exactly. scooby doo's <laughs> monster island so he doesn't freak out about this like this is fun like He's oh like, yeah oh fucking sick i look kind of like a badass i'm like a fucking oni man this is really cool i know it's difficult but please look down. It's best to see it with your own eyes. <laughs> Not that way. <laughs> Other way, dipshit. So he freaks out about this, but he doesn't freak out about the horn in his skull. Now he has one less puncher. He has one less punchy arms. <laughs> he can headbutt. He can throw himself at people's legs, and then they'll be like, "Thank you." <laughs> Thank you, boss. He just keeps going back to sleep. Like, it probably- that's probably not what it is, but I just keep thinking he just keeps going back into coma. <laughs> like, I can't do this! Uh, but then he's like, oh, what happened? You were in a coma again. Stop doing that. <laughs> this cutscene replays. It's just like, trapped in a time loop. <laughs> boss can't wake up! Oh, it's time for a makeover! Yeah, he's gonna have a makeover. So they they make you be a dude. And you know last time I made uh, Magnus. But I was I was thinking about stuff we could do this time. Should we just make Griffin? We <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so look at all these beautiful men's that we can do. Who? I made... Should we make Griffin? <laughs> Uh, can we... Or what about Travis? I was thinking Travis. Because he's got a good face. Gosh, something's like... They look like people I've seen before. Uh, oh, a right? handsome man. Ooh! Very, a handsome... Very nice. I watched a movie in dance with this man, and he was in it, and he tap danced. <laughs> How did it? <laughs> we have Soldier 76. Baby face. Oh, that's exactly who that is. Or should we make, like, the manliest man? Like fucking Zangief, extremely solid. It, very, so we're going His to make a very solid man. His molecules are so packed. <laughs> are so packed together. <laughs> we're going to make a very solid, solid snake man's mutton chops, or shovel beard, or fucking <laughs> coma beard. The, it looks bushier in the I picture. Have, can we 
Do you think it would be possible if we could make Freddie Mercury? Oh, God. Because they have that mustache. That's true. That's what we're it's doing It's just now. a little bit sparse. Ooh, facial hair and length. Ooh, yes. Ooh. Yes. Hair color. Wait, I'm going... Where's my phone? I think Freddie Mercury has eyebrows. <laughs> really? I think he does. I have memories of of the man with the eyebrows. I'm trying to find a picture where like he's just being normal, but I, that's not. That's really... not possible. I don't even know what this one is doing. What the fuck? Brown, right? Um. Yes. Whoa! Wait, hold on. I can make him blind. Should we do punish Freddie Mercury? <laughs> Punished. Oh, smell it. This one. There we go, that's, that's oh, our here boy's we go. nose. Here's his side view. Beautiful. Ah, oh, What a beautiful boy. Nostril width? Does he have big nostrils? Uh, that's actually yeah. pretty close. Yeah, oh, he... I just remembered why this isn't really... <laughs> it still doesn't feel right. It's because he's still... <laughs> his <laughs> eyebrow <laughs> he's, he's got the Benedict Cumberbatch <laughs> all up on him. Upper cheek width? Upper cheek position the highest. Cheek contour. Yes. Yes, he's so contoured. What about that beautiful mouth? He has an overbite, yes. Yeah. Should we make him smile? Or should we make him angry? Does does Freddie Mercury... Does he like being in the war, or does he hate it? <laughs> I mean, I would love to get to run around in the fucking dirt. I think it's the Asian eyes. The Asian eyes aren't work are, are doing it. <laughs> We we should probably should have started out with like a um an Indian man. We probably should <laughs> have instead of an Asian man. Asian Freddie Mercury. Asian, just fucking go for it. This is Asian Freddie Mercury. If we put him in something yellow or like something very tight, no one will know the difference. We can give him a big eagle tattoo though, <laughs> <laughs> or just bullets. <laughs> Or this little cute one. He, re he reloads by tapping his temple. <laughs> Ooh, or that. Have that permanently tattooed to his face. Oh, it looks so bad with a mustache. <laughs> it looks like he fell off his um, fucking BMX bike when he was 12. Oh, no. That one's weird. What happened? How Did you, you just get that because you thought it was cool? How do you explain that? Asian Freddie Mercury. What did you do? What is this one? What is that? Ooh. Oh, he wants that one. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Very good. It's a butterfly knife on his cheek. Can we choose what he's wearing? No. Oh my god. We're not even going to play as Asian Freddie Mercury. Ah! <laughs> he looks so good! 